Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm gonna give you a tour and show you our revised cleaning and organizing system. I actually typed it out, so if any of you want a copy of it, please send me an email. My email is on my YouTube channel under more information. But I'm gonna take you with me. A lot of it's gonna sound the same, but I added some things, and so far, we feel like we're getting a lot done with less time. So come along with me. We'll start with Monday. Okay, really quickly. Mondays is basically pick up garbage in yard and put it in the garbage, which is the green, and recycle, which is the blue, and push those out to the curb for Tuesday morning pickup. Our lawn has not been mowed yet. It, get, it gets mowed every other Friday, so it is due for a mow. So if that looks shabby, that is why. And we do have a yard guy that comes. Another thing that we do is, and it's not here right now, uh, my husband is gone right now, but one of the things we do is we clean out the car every single Monday and also wash out all the garbage cans that need to be washed out. So that is on Monday's duty. Tuesday, Al wipes down all the glass in the house and then Caroline and I switch back and forth between vacuuming and also dusting, okay? So that's what we do. We make sure to dust everything and then also dust lower. So we do that on Tuesdays. Also, if the floor needs to be swept, uh, we also sweep the floor. Wednesday is deep clean kitchen. Last week, we washed out the microwave. We took this complete thing away from the wall, wiped behind it, took everything out, got rid of some things that were in there. I know I have a lot of stuff, but I use every single thing. I also am donating the boom box so it's less cluttered than what it was. I may also get rid of some of the things inside there that I'm not using and be able to even declutter more. That might be one thing we do. Now this week we're going to wipe off and uh, the refrigerator and make sure to wipe off the top of the fridge. The week before that we did the oven. So we do something, some kind of deep cleaning in our kitchen. Now my kitchen is not the super cleanest right the second because I've been doing a lot of cooking, but we do clean, do a deep clean on our kitchen every Wednesday. We do laundry if we need to and wipe out laundry room if we need to. And, you know, if we don't get to something, that's okay. But we at least like to dedicate a little bit of time each day to a chore. If we need sheets washed, things like that, that can happen on Wednesday. Thursday, I go through old paperwork. And if it needs to be shredded, I put it there. So I may go through that. I go through some of my mail and my mail drawers and I shred any paperwork so that I stay on top of all the paperwork and things coming into the house. That happens on Thursday. Thursday, we deep clean bathrooms. As you can see, the bottom of this toilet is very clean. That means we make sure to get around every crevice and scrub the toilet down, scrub the sinks down. We do that on Thursdays. I will be going over briefly what my daily tasks are that we do every day, which do not take much time. This is something also that we do on Thursdays. I forgot to mention that Wednesday, and I'll be taking you in there, on Wednesdays, we do our bedrooms, see if there's any old clothes we want to get rid of, and anything that we need to do in our bedrooms, you know, if there's special projects in there, we do that on Wednesdays. Okay, we did some special scrubbing in our toilet, and also one job that I'm going to be doing on a deep clean day is clean out the toilet tanks. Many of us forget to do that. We also make sure to really wipe down our shower and inside of our shower really well and wash up the bathroom floors. That's really important as well. And we do that on Thursdays. Okay, back to Wednesday. I'm in my bedroom. We have this file cabinet here. One of the things I might do on a Wednesday is go through the file cabinet and go through some of the paperwork. And that then if there's something that I feel like I don't need anymore, I may go put that over by my shredder so I can shred it on Thursday. But I may organize that. And then something else that I may do is look through my clothes, see that they're sorted, that they're clean. Is there anything in here that I can donate? Make sure that everything is where it needs to be. We have a very small closet, but you know what? We make it work and I'm not buying any more clothes right now. So that helps. So I'm not bringing more clutter in, but you know what? This is all a work in progress.
Okay, Friday is deep clean day. We pick one thing in the house that we've been putting off and not cleaning, for example. I'm not saying this is a perfect job, guys. And that's the thing with this plant. It doesn't have to be perfect. Do what you can with the energy level that you have. So on one of the deep clean Fridays, we cleaned out the oven. So that's just an example. So we pick something. We might wipe down walls, wipe down baseboards, things like that. So does it mean it's perfect or that looks like a professional did it? No. But doing something is better than doing nothing. So Fridays is the day that we take whatever item it is. Example is an oven or another thing inside your dishwasher. doesn't have to be in your kitchen. It could be wiping out some drawers, you know, taking everything down off a bookshelf and completely wiping that down. Anything you want to deep clean is for that day. Top of refrigerators or behind refrigerators, anything that you just don't get to spend at least five minutes on a deep clean. Okay, one thing that we do a couple times a week, and it really is supposed to be done, say, Tuesdays and maybe Fridays, is either mop and sweep the floors, but we do that as needed. Remember, we don't always get to everything, so sometimes we do have to move things from another day. Saturdays is decluttering day, and all of this stuff is getting donated. We pick one area and declutter, and I'm going to show you just a couple areas around the house that we have decluttered. Okay, we decluttered this closet. I'm not saying it's perfect, but remember, it is a small space. Up on top there, we have a sleeping bag. Now, some of these things I may even go through more. In that blue bucket, we have... Uh, different types of little winter hats even though it doesn't get that cold here some gloves things like that and you know we just I'm gonna go over everything we've got coats we went through those we've got a cooler in there we have our bags that we bring to Aldi I've got a vacuum cleaner someone gave me that works great it's a Bissell and so we went through this area and organized and decluttered it last week this is the beauty of decluttering guys is even though you might declutter you can always come back to it and do even a better job. You may not think, for example, that sleeping bag. I'm not sure. Nobody's using it. Do I want to keep it? I don't know. But I don't have to make that choice right now. Let's say I come back to this area and declutter it a month later. I could choose to uh, donate it at that time. So just wanted to show you this one area. Okay, I've already shown you this area, but I'm pretty pleased with this. I could use a little more decluttering with what's underneath the shelf. And I do think I'm gonna be donating some crystal because I'm just not using it. And my point is I wanna make sure I've got space for everything. I've already shown you guys this, but here's another area that we've decluttered. It was labeled before, but I think it looks a lot better than what it did. And so we're really pleased with this. One area that we did was underneath the bathroom sink. Now, I know it looks like we have a lot of stuff, but believe me, this definitely looks better than what it did before. Like I said, everything's a work in progress. Okay, we do laundry on Sundays, and this is one area I'm going to declutter is the top of this. Like I said, we just do a little bit at a time, and so this is one thing that we do on Sundays. Also, I'm going to share something else with you. Also on Sundays, we have a family meeting Sunday evening to talk about upcoming things and just anything that we want to have a discussion about. We do that every single Sunday as a family, and it has really made a big difference in our life. Relieves a lot of stress, so nothing comes up unexpectedly. So we do that. We make a plan for the week. So I do that on Sundays as well. Now I'm going to tell you just a couple brief daily tasks that we do. Okay, one thing that... I do at the beginning of the week, and Caroline and I mostly do most of the cooking. Al does a little bit, but we do most of it in baking. So I meal prep so that I have food throughout the whole week and weekend when I'm doing demos. So that's something that I do generally Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I try to make recipes that I haven't made in a while or from ingredients that I've had for a while. So I'm trying to use up my oldest things. For example, I made some chili mac because I had some products that I really wanted to use up. So we'll have that to eat on all week. I wanted to show you briefly that I made a homemade maple cake that Al loves. It's really tasty and I made it for him because he loves maple. And in those two containers are some breakfast casseroles that I made. I always like to keep plenty of eggs on hand as well. So I wanted to show you some other meal prep that I've done. 
Okay, quickly, daily tasks. One thing that we do every single day, not deep clean, but we wipe up the bathrooms every single day. That way it's not a great big job. and call it swish and swipe. It does not take long to do, number one. Number two, we keep the kitchen picked up, wiped up, and I wipe up as I go, put dishes in dishwasher. I'm very grateful to have one. I don't run it every day. Some days I don't. But we do that. I also, one of the deep clean things I need to do is clean up my dishwasher. Thank you for the reminder. So that's something I do. We also do what we call a walkthrough every night or even during the day and just see, is there anything that needs to be picked up, cleaned up? Just tidying. I call a little tidy. So I tidy every day, number one. Number two, keep the kitchen wiped up and dishes done. And number three, keep the bathrooms wiped. That is something we do. Now, on to weekly, something that we do each week is the day before I grocery shop, we wipe out refrigerators, freezers, and pantries. Is there anything that needs to be thrown out? I do sometimes have a few dairy products that have not done so well. For example, cottage cheese. And then it reminds me, hey, don't buy so much of this because you don't want to waste it. I've gotten so much better about not wasting food, and I'm very pleased about that. So we organize and clean out our refrigerators, freezers, and pantries once a week. And I do the meal prep three days a week. And sometimes I cook other days, but I like to batch cook so that we have plenty of food in the house. Nobody here minds eating leftovers. So that's what my plan is. This is what we're doing. It's a little bit revised from last time. If any of you want me to send it to you, feel free. But this is the main thing of the plan. Don't worry about perfection. Throw that out the door. Work with your energy level. If you don't feel like doing something, it's okay. It can wait till next week. Or what I do is on Saturdays, I forgot to mention, is kind of my makeup day. I do keep up with things. And yesterday, Al, Caroline, and myself, we each did a chore. And honestly, I think it took us less than 10 minutes all together for all three of us to do our chores. So now, if I would have done it by myself, it would have taken probably 40 minutes. But each of us did something. Each of us spent about 10 minutes. I think most people have 10 minutes a day. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. Let me know your thoughts. I want to know your cleaning system. If you're interested in just seeing it and trying it out, I'd love to know your feedback. I feel like I'm doing less, but I'm also asking my family for more help, and everybody has been really good about it. So that's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you, and I sure hope you come back for tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.